Welcome, one and all. This is the Peace Dealer. Shout out to y'all. Showing me love. Staying true. You already know what it do. And this week is the decisive battle. First internally and then externally. Every battle that you achieve victory for from within will manifest itself externally so that you can complete the battle. And I'm going to say that one more time. Every habit, every internal struggle issue that you face that is intrinsic will manifest itself physically through another person, through an external stimuli so that you complete this lesson and take that internal victory and apply it outside of yourself. This is important. This week is the decisive battle. We are fully in this holy war, and it is this week that will determine how well you prepare yourself for the final battle next week and the week after. This is a decisive battle because it's going to incorporate hardcore reality checks that could literally make or break you. Okay, we have the moon transiting from Aquarius and it's going to end conjunct Uranus and Taurus. This lunar cycle as we close out the full moon chapter and activate this third quarter square in Aries will very in humbling ways prove to you how much of a warrior you feel you are. I mean, everyone feels they're a warrior until they're on the battlefield and they have a gun to their face. Okay, how many of you are going to cry hoping the gun gets taken from your face? How many are going to look at the face of that gun and be like, you better shoot me. You better shoot me. Because if you miss, oh, you're not going to be alive. Okay, so this, this is, of course, different extreme polarities. Let's get a nice balance here. But this is important because for in most cases, a lot of you are going to show you yourself for the first time. Damn, I'm way more strong. I'm way more powerful than I ever thought. Fully expect this third quarter square near the end of the week to cause chaos, all right? Differences of opinion, clashes of personalities, and a decisive battle to determine whether you're going to stand up to who you know yourself to be or whether you're going to let outside influences put you in a box, sweep you under the rug, put you under the bus, and walk all over you. You ain't no punk, okay? If there's one thing you are not, you are not a punk. And you did not put in all this internal work and in building your confidence and building yourself to shriek at the first stage and sight of difficulty. A lot of you had to isolate yourselves. A lot of you had to go through an incubation period. That does not make you weak. That does not make you a loner. That does not make you antisocial. There's nothing about this evolution process that is quick, okay? A lot of you are trying to speed up healing of subconscious habits, patterning, emotional pain and trauma that takes years. If anything, generationally speaking, Pluto Scorpio, Pluto Libra, Pluto Sag, all right, if you were born in 74 to 2008, you're going through intense transformation that's going to take even two more years. So none of you have to rush this process. If you guys feel like you can't connect with people, if you guys feel like you want to isolate yourself from people, do so healthily, but don't beat yourself up for it. Don't make yourself think that there's something wrong with you because this is happening to so much more people than you're even aware. Most people who are out there in this real world, okay, are having to because of financial obligations or because they want to hold space. It's not like they want to be out either. And it's, it's nothing about being out and being in. It's everything about feeling comfortable in your soul, which is your true home. You're evolving. There's not much about this evolution process that feels comfortable at all. And which is why I will say once again, with Jupiter retrograde, embrace your insecurities. We are activating a grand water trine this week that's going to have you feel into your power like never before. And when you feel into that, this is what's going to open up that conflict so that you can break through instead of break down and get stepped on. 
some of you will break through by breaking down and that some of you need to be broken down so that you can build yourself up in you. But this breakthrough is going to have much to do with standing up for yourself. Mercury and Venus are in Leo. So rep that inner diva because destiny is involved. Okay. And this is definitely going to have you stand in the face of opposition like a boss and not a loser. All right. You are no loser. You are a winner. You are no victim. You are a victor. Okay. A victor. So with that being said, allow yourself the grace needed to heal your wounds, to evolve. You are under no circumstance meant to prove yourself to anybody. And forget what everyone is saying. Everyone is all getting caught up in this Saturn and Capricorn. Work hard. Work your greatest. And you, we, we need balance. So you, you better be a person of integrity and go out there and claim your greatness. But let me remind you of something, okay? You don't have to do a single thing. Like if you die 10 years from now and you didn't do anything that is societally acceptable, you're not better or worse for that. Now, we will say all sorts of things. We will say subjectively in our world all sorts of things, but objectively to you, don't matter. All that matters is that you achieve out whatever you desire, and you owe it to yourself to work hard and smart on that and to put in work. But don't let people's expectations manipulate you into doing or having to be someone that you don't have to be. If you want to spend every single day this week watching Netflix, eating ice cream, you have every right to, okay? You have to take responsibility for your decisions, but just allow this nurturing to express itself, all right? What's happening is you're regaining power over the reasons you do things. So it's less to do with what other people expect, and it's more to do with your heart and respect, all right? And until next week, my lovely peace dealers, Hashtag billion dollar vibe tribe. Hashtag billion dollar or gang. I'm going to have the GoFundMe soon. We're going to have this merch up. Until next week. Shit you go through make you stronger. Muscle up. Yes. Who wanna what? Let's knuckle up. Don't clap lead. My fish should go to rehab. They crack heads. Woo. Sky's the limit. Nah, the sky limitless. Yeah. Flow articulate, but it's still sick and it's syphilis. Slicky slip on it. Lose your balance and bust your lip you on it. it. Call your chick a bitch. Tell her suck it. Such a degenerate. Stand tall or tall. Your waterfall. I'm ripping it. Knowledge y'all like soccer ball. Kicking it. No Gorilla. Go get us. Couldn't get with it. Sin like cinnamon. I recommend that you repent on yeah. it. About Benjamins. Independent. I'm penicillin. They no. got bars like prisons, any pen I'm killing Yo, it wanted. I'm a monster heifer, I can tell when you ain't being real I'm like a lie detector uh -huh. Lifelines become deadlines for the cheddar I yeah. write rhymes that last lifetimes forever Christ. Got dimes that you might find with Hefner Fly, shine, wine, find, and